All right, guys, welcome back to another episode of Just Create. Once again, I'm your host, Thomas Duran. And, uh, man, I tell you what, it has been way too long for uh, since, the la- since the last episode. And uh, I apologize about that. You know, things get busy, things get crazy. And, uh, you know, sometimes uh, just... Uh, we got to do it. We got to make it work and make money. But uh, anyway, I'm so glad to be back. I'm so glad to be able to bring on this next guest that I have for you guys. Uh, his name is Cameron Martinez, and he is the chief business development for Leverage. And uh, Cameron, what's going on, my man? How are you doing? I'm doing well, man. Thanks for having me on your show. I'm excited. Oh, thank you. And I really appreciate you coming on. This is really exciting. Like I said uh, <laughs> before, it's definitely been way too long, especially I know you and I have been trying to get trying to get in touch and trying to get something scheduled like this before and, and uh, mostly on my part. So uh, my bad on that. But I am really, really, really honored and, and happy that you can uh, join uh, join me and take your time and and talk to talk to everybody about what you do. So let's start from that. What is leverage? What is all that about? So the founder of Leverage, his name is Sylvania Harad. We were having a discussion. We have, we have many discussions. And one of the things that, that really hurts us to the core is when, you know, the mother of three children says, no, honey, we can't go to Disney World or no, honey, we can't afford to go camping because it's too expensive. Right. Or, or that, that, entrepreneur who may not be able to expand or grow their business because you know the things that they need like marketing and PR and HR and stuff that they need to grow their business they can't afford because it's too expensive so the foundation of what we've created is to really help those people overcome those issues and the way that we're doing that is we've created a community of of online business owners of digital marketers of, of just a, a, a wide range of entrepreneurs who are hungry, who want to impact people's lives around them. Right. And we, and we use that community to go to, to major companies. Um, for example, some, some companies that we have partnerships with are, are people like Kajabi, um, active campaign. We have wow. your, your email automation. We have your total backend automation, right? And we, we go to those companies and say, Hey, we have, 3,000 super inspired entrepreneurs who are looking to use your service to grow their business. And then we negotiate deals with them to uh, bring back to our community and say, okay, we understand you need this stuff. Here it is at at a a less expensive price than you would find it anywhere else. And so when we first started doing that, we basically, we were drawing in so much traffic that we would crash some of the, some of the companies, right? Um, For instance, the, the uh, video chat platform that we're using right now, we went to them and said, okay, we have 500 people who want your, your product and we sent them through and basically within 48 hours, the CEO of, of Zoom called us and said, hey, we love that you're sending us so much traffic, but we can't let you do this. It's against our terms of service because you're not an organization or an association and oh, that is geez. how Leverage formed. And now we go to companies all over the world and, and um, share our message. So. When we bring in new people, they are a part of a membership or association. Um, and when they pay for that, we deliver the profit from that to feedabillion.org. Every person that joins our membership, we are feeding 30 to 50 to 100 people around the world. So that wow. is yeah. that is the, the path that we're on. That's what we're trying to create. It's a movement that we are pursuing every single day. Oh, that, that is truly amazing. And um you know, I, 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 you invite me into that, uh, into that group and it, it's pretty amazing. It's, 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 Hey, we got a new deal. And as, as a small business owner and as an entrepreneur, as someone that three years ago was just trying to get my business off the ground, little did I know about actual, the business side of things, right? Like how much, ah, just it, it, how much, how much investment it costs, how much of a headache it, co- it goes through. I just want to shoot film. I just want to, cr- I just, <laughs> I just want to shoot videos. Right. But in right. order to do that, you have to make money. And, and so, um, you know, creating a business is not just about doing what you're passionate about. It's everything that comes with it. And, and so little did I know about, <laughs> about automation tools, little did I know about, you know, uh, name it. I mean, you're talking about active campaign, you're talking about Kajabi, all that stuff was foreign to me. And mm-hmm. so, you know, it's pretty amazing that like in one, in one group, you're going to be able to, 
find uh, not only like find what is exactly you're needing in order to be or run a successful company, but do it at a very uh, at a discounted price, which is which is by far uh, truly truly amazing. And uh, that is what what a what a creative idea. Now, how long did that uh, was that just because out of what was the driving factor on that? And can you? I know you mentioned a little bit about it, but like, how did you get with Sylvania and 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 what what were the pains that you guys were finding? And was it pains that yours you were dealing with personally, or was it just pains from from other people? So uh, to give you a little backstory, before I jumped in full time into leverage to to grow the business, I actually owned a marketing agency doing lead generation, Facebook advertising for small business owners, mainly in the real estate industry. And, you know, I was running into the issues. I needed Zoom to communicate with my clients. I wanted to build a, you know, a bigger personal brand within my area. So I wanted to do Zoom and stream into Facebook and I needed um, Zapier to automate everything, right? So as soon as somebody comes into my funnel, they're immediately sent an email, they're immediately sent a text or whatever, right? And I was, I needed to set that up for my clients. Um, but the thing is, all that stuff can start to add up right? It's cool and all. You have all this stuff that is the foundation of your business, but as, as things start to really take off, you know, you need that foundation to come with you. And sometimes, you know, it may be more of a burden than it is actually um, helping you succeed. So I saw that problem in my own business, but also with my clients, Sylvania, um, was also, he, he has been running groups for, for a, you know, over a year now, right. and he was associated with all these entrepreneurs who he was just hearing all the time talk about how um, they were struggling to grow their business because maybe some of these things or that, you know, there's a fear there that if they get this monthly subscription that then they can't afford groceries for their kids or they, you know, that takes out from their rent or whatever that may be. And so it was really just, it, it kind of happened by accident. Um, we saw an opportunity to work with Zoom. We presented that to a, a very small group of people. And then, you know, word started to get out. And um, before we knew it, we had a, a business entity. And now, you know, we're, we're going out every single day making relationships. We've already had the community of entrepreneurs that we've met, like you and I met in San right. Diego, right? So we're doing that all the time now. Right. Um, and, and it's given us the ability, one of the cool things that we're about to launch is group health insurance for our community of entrepreneurs. No way. And that have been possible without just the, that one you know, group of people or that one thought that maybe we can help out our community, not only save more money, but not have to worry about how am I going to pay my bills or what if, you know, how am I going to give my children the, the greatest, greatest experience they can have um, during their childhood and all those kinds of things. So it, it was an accident, but it's turned into a, such a, such a beautiful movement. That is pretty amazing. And especially in entrepreneurship where it could get very lonely, uh, it could yeah. get, you, you could get <laughs> lost very easily and, 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 and having a community like that is, is tremendous. Now, how could people sign up for this? What is the script subscription? Like what is, you know, kind of, <laughs> there, there, there ain't no shameless plug over here <laughs> you know like, go ahead like how do people subscribe to this if they feel like this is something that they uh you know find extremely value in and, and is was what they've been looking for and is what they've been needing for you, you know especially for people that are trying to start up they're doing their startups or people that have been only been in business for three to four years uh, even you know sooner than that or if they're looking to make that scale their business you know um you know how what what does that subscription look like where do they go and and how could they sign up Yep. So we, because of, of some of the challenges that we've run into, um, to give you an idea, we had a deal with, with Zapier and they came to us and said, hey, you're not allowed to use our name or promote any kind of monetary thing, market any, anything monetary for us. So we have to um, kind of work around those things for large companies like that, um, especially if they don't want people reselling their stuff right um so we run into some of those challenges and it's it's forcing us to kind of revamp um what we're doing so we're in the middle of recreating our one-stop shop website slash membership it'll all be together nice. um right now you can go to leverage.info um there you'll it's a very very um minimal landing page slash 
website because again this was all very it happened very quickly it did i i, I remember when it, when you guys all of a sudden launched this thing it was just like oh wow oh and then it, you guys are just <laughs> but what i love about it is just how engaging and how active you guys are in it and and how quickly yeah. you guys are hustling on it and i think that's just a uh it, it, it's, it's awesome to see and so but uh but yeah keep, keep on going on like i know yeah. it's still at the beginning stages yeah no it's it's amazing and, and we really we're creating an environment for the people who are in our community to have the complete voice they have 100 percent authority over what deals we bring in right if we bring in something you guys don't want it's not worth either of our times um so leverage.info, you can go there and, and see the, the very minimal things that we have so far. Again, we're revamping it. It's going to be, uh, it's going to explain everything that we have going on. Um, and you'll be able to access the membership there. But, but leverage.info, you can go there. It'll take you to the membership checkout page. We are actually increasing our membership price to $97 a year. That's just an annual fee of $97. There's no, the only monthly fee that incurs inside of that membership is if you decide to purchase the deals and discounts we have inside of it no that's um, fantastic it's, it's like getting a costco card it's like getting a costco membership once you're a membership exactly. you go in and you get great deals i love it exactly no, and, and the, the cool thing is so you you're a part of the membership you're part of the association so not only do you get you know the exclusive notifications when we do come out with a new deal um like right now you just you were just you're one of the first people that knows we're about to launch group health insurance right because you're in our community i know you very well that is what alongside our membership that's great and all but i think what's most powerful like you were saying too is how engaged the group is how everybody's always communicating we it's just full of entrepreneurs so if you have questions if you're struggling everybody in there has either been through it or is going through it alongside with you. And we're also, we have uh, an interview series called the six figure interview series in there where we're bringing in a ton of different people um, just to share their story and, and help people bridge the gap from where they are to where they want to be um, on their journey to hitting six figures. So it, it's, it's a whole bunch of stuff, um, a whole bunch of beneficial things that we, we truly, it, it's not really about us, the, the founders of, of the company it's 100% about the community. We wouldn't be doing what we're doing if it weren't for, for everybody in there, including you. So well, no, man. Well, I, I absolutely love it. And I, and, and this whole time, and this is the reason why I think it's really important. And I wanted you to be on, on this show because, uh, you know, that, that obviously those are the, the features and the, like the benefits of it, right? Like that's the, the, but, but what you're actually doing, like you said, you're talking about starting a movement and, and, by the way, I think Leverage, I think has a kick-ass name, man. That, thank <laughs> God. Finally, someone uses a freaking badass name and not continue to use, like, Legacy. <laughs> you notice that? Like, I feel, appreciate I feel that. Like, like, I mean, I love Legacy, but I feel like everyone's like, all of a sudden, like, now they're Legacy. You know, like, everyone's using the term Legacy now. But, <laughs> you know, to all my friends out there, entrepreneurs that use your Legacy, I still love you. I got We love. still love I, you. We still love you. <laughs> I just, I, just I, I really dig the Leverage. Um but uh, no, absolutely. But uh, where I want to kind of discuss about is because you're creating this movement, you're creating what you've seen that you created this community. And I know entrepreneurship could be extremely lonely. It could be very stressful. Uh, it could be <laughs> extremely stressful. And why we do it, we don't know. But we know that there's a huge group of people that do do it and we love it. And 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 creating that environment like have you has it sat with you have you has it like has it have you realized what kind of you know the the uh, i guess the unintended consequences in, in in regards like you have a goal you had an idea but have you have you realized the the actual you know uh, the the effects that has actually happened with businesses and w like did you ever expect something like that when you created this group so, you know, before you start anything, you kind of, it all stems from some kind of idea of something you want to create to help others or, you know, impact your own life. Right. So, right. yeah, we had an idea of, of what we, what we wanted to do and why we wanted to do it, but we never expected uh, things to happen so quickly and spread so far, so fast. We started this in April and it's, oh, wow. we've already saved our community over $3 million this year. We've already fed over 50,000 people around the world and it's growing so fast every single day. So to answer your question, yes, we had an idea, but no, we never intended it to spark such a, such a massive, a massive fire so fast. 
Um, it's when you it, know you got I, gold, man. I mean, that's it's when you have an idea and it goes like that. It doesn't happen often. It doesn't. But when it does, it's it's it, it changes the world and changes people's lives. And I think yeah. that's dude. That that's what's all point of like. That's the all I stress on this show is that when you create something, it's not just for you. You do create it for yourself, but like you're creating for even if it just affects one person. But now you're affecting thousands of people, and it's just yeah. unreal. Well, well, here's the thing, man. So uh, Kobe Bryant said this really well on one of his interviews. He said he loved the NBA because he got instant feedback. Right? If he played oh, bad. Okay. The fans either booed him or they were celebrating, right? Or he uh, was sitting on the bench or he was playing. As soon as he retired and started uh, as an entrepreneur, that instant feedback went away. And so that, you know, at first we didn't really, we, we've received some some feedback from, from some of the people in our community at first. But now what's really, really incredible are the business owners and entrepreneurs coming to us saying, listen, I wouldn't have been able to do X if it weren't for the, the amount of money that I saved on, on this, this software or this product. And that like, we, now that I'm thinking about it, <laughs> we've created something like it, it, it brings me to tears. Like I, 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 I strongly believe that whatever you're creating, if you're not truly aligned, if it's not like, if the emotions are not super, super strong when you're, when you're talking to somebody about what you're creating, it's not bringing you to tears or at least, you know, like <laughs> you just sit back and, and laugh and you're just like truly grateful for what you've created and it's it's only growing. So I, I'm I'm super grateful and super excited for where it's where it's headed. But um no, yeah, that that is fantastic. And what I really like too is like uh it's not just about finding those deals, but how you engage with uh, with the community, um, obviously a lot of it through different posts on Facebook or or different uh, texts. But one of, the, one of the things I'm really really liking and, and what I do enjoy watching is your 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 interviews that you bring on guests. Um, I, don't, I don't know, is it like a little mini podcast? I guess you could call it. I don't know what exactly the the official term of your show is or what series you're trying to do, but. Um, you know, you obviously have a nice setup there. Uh, and, uh, it's <laughs> best setup of the guests I've I've had already <laughs> of yes. all everyone. So, uh, with with my closet and dresser in the background. <laughs> hey, hey. <laughs> it, it looks perfect. It's white, it's clear. You know, it, yes. it looks good. But uh, um, but you know, so you bring on these guests and and you're bringing all a lot of different type of guests and and i watch you and and the way you handle those interviews look man i i know it's tough to do that because creating this show when i first started uh, i suck i still i'm not that great but i do know that <laughs> the more you do it's uh, the more improved no, you become but uh, great, <laughs> but uh but that's the whole point is it's just is that you do it you have fun with it and you just get better at it but but the the presence that you bring in and but that kind of tailing it back to what we want to try to talk about is is you're creating these series and you bring on different guests what is that what's that response been like and why have you been doing that like what's your why mm -hmm. behind creating something like that and and why do you think it's been so successful so we are converting so to give uh the people watching a little bit of of context we're bringing in um people into our group the entrepreneur deals and discounts community in our facebook group um to it's called the six figure interview series and the point of it is to bring in industry experts people who have hit six seven eight figures to help people understand how to bridge the gap from where they are to where they want to be we're converting those interviews I, I do them live via zoom stream straight into the group but we're converting the audio into a podcast uh we haven't actually talked about that yet but, but so we're we're converting it into a podcast it's going to be called the six figure roadmap and it's going to be me interviewing some of the most incredible people I've ever met. Um, the the response has been amazing. Uh, it's it's really at first it was just you know we just need engagement in this group so whatever let's just bring in interviews right yeah. we we have all these connections let's just bring them in and talk to them but it's really stemmed into um, not only so so much value and education for myself but the people who who watch those are, are getting you know and uh, questions answered every single time someone comes on. And so I think the main reason uh, why we're doing it, not only to drive engagement to the group and and um, also give people value and, and hopefully some knowledge that they didn't have before, but I was 
during uh, my interview with with Kat Howell earlier today, she told me every business owner should be doing some sort of like direct interaction like this, whether it's a podcast or live right. interview um, or or blogging like interviews on a blog, because what you, it's basically free consultation from the people that you bring onto your interview. Yep. But it's also a way for you to infiltrate their audience because you're giving them exposure. And so naturally, because of that, you're giving them something. Of course, they're going to come into your group, drop knowledge bombs, value bombs. But then the cool thing that happens is after, before and after the interviews, right, what people don't get to see is you are having conversations with these people. And it's, right. you know, you're getting questions answered that you might not otherwise have access to unless you approach them and said, Hey, we have this show potentially, you know, 10,000 people are watching, come, come on to it. And now boom, you have them, you get to learn from them and you get to provide value to, to your audience. Um, that's you, why we do it. <laughs> yeah, that, no, that's fantastic. You hit up a great point. It's funny. It's like, I have, I've had friends, um, you know, that, that they'll start seeing what I've been doing and, it's kind of weird, you know, with friends, you don't, they see you in one way. They don't see you as like this, you know, like someone that's going to come on on a podcast or lead a show, right? They, they just, right. they're not used to that. But so when your friends start seeing and acknowledging the, the stuff that you're doing, it's, it's pretty, pretty, pretty amazing to see. But what's hilarious is that to touch on your point, you know, they ask me, they're like, so what are you getting out of this? Or like, what are you, I mean, you're, cause there's, you know, it's not like I got any sponsorships yet or, or any like, you know, this, this is just because I do it because I have fun. But the biggest thing I go, you guys, like the people that bring on the guests, like I have such great conversations that even like, even if, if, if someone doesn't necessarily like that particular show, or if they, if, if, if someone doesn't see this particular show, it's not a big deal, but my 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 reward has been establishing relationships like with you i mean like we met we mm -hmm. met in san diego over at um the digital marketing traffic yeah traffic conversion and um you know and, and we've just kind of stayed connected that way but but getting on here it's like we have a conversation and it's that it's that before and after like it, you just develop those relationships and now after doing all these shows i feel like i have these really close great relationships with so many diverse people and diverse industries and and it's just helping out my business it, like they, yeah it, like it's even if they may not hire me they're referring me over to people that they know because you're tapping like you said you're tapping into their you know into their uh, circle of people and 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 so i've gotten like new jobs out of it because mm -hmm. just because of a referral and building that relationship and it's just it's i feel like this is like the new way of instead of going to networking groups which i haven't done i just couldn't do it i did it once i was like i'm out but uh but like this is the one of the best free fun exciting or you know ways to 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 really network and it's uh, to have that one-on-one -on -one conversation i think and i also think i think people are they're craving. I mean, think about it today in today's world where where information is like 15 seconds, 30 seconds. So you we're always pushing like we got to be a less than a minute because people don't listen after a minute and a half or whatever the stats are at. But I, I honestly believe that I think people are craving for this long form uh, conversations, you know, because they want to know more. They don't want the hot, you know, the. the 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 easy memes or the the easy sayings they, they want actual mm -hmm. substance they want actual uh real how's it going to help them out and by doing yeah. that it's within these conversations absolutely well what's interesting about that it's when you bring that up people that people are craving that information is our show is called the six figure interview series right our podcast is going to be called the six figure roadmap yeah we're attaching that number to it but what you're what you'll find in most of our interviews is we don't even talk about money at all it's really like <laughs> Everything behind it is the things that are barriers, mostly in your mind, that are preventing you from getting there. It's not, there's some tactics in there like, okay, here's the, you know, you need to have this foundation to grow a business, but it's, it, man, you're right. It's, it's just like you're creating a, a library in the back of your mind. That is, I love that part. Yes, I, that is per, that was a perfect way to, to put it is that you literally are creating, I mean, there's so much things I have. Like, oh, you know what? Like, if I had a question on something, I know who to go to, mainly because yeah. because of shows like yours, because of, co you know, the contacts that, that, that we've made um, and, and because of the people that I've brought on. And, and it's, it's 
and it's just learning. And that's why I love, I mean, I've had a magician on, I've had a, you know, uh, a guy that's done performance marketing, which is uh, the affiliate marketing uh, managing, um, you know, an expert on that. Um, I have an expert on, on, you know, mindset stuff. I mean, it's just, there's just so much out there uh, and especially in creation. Cause like this whole part of this other show is about creating. And then, and I, I try to explain to people, like obviously video is huge video. And we say that, but like, creating great content and video is, is, is what's needed right now. Not just doing a video, but, um, you know, so I, I, am hoping to kind of bring in like, how do other businesses use video? How do people leverage, leverage, you know, leverage that in their business. Um, and so that's, that's, and then the aspect of the other aspect of the show is to, to encourage people to create. Well, you dude, you're creating, you're creating this, this environment for people to work in a community. Um, my next part is, is my next question for you is, is video. Uh, it, it, like, how are you guys leveraging? I mean, I know you do zoom calls and kind of put it on the live, uh, within the group. Uh, you're going to be leveraging that with using the audio form for the podcast. What about, uh, what other forms of video that you guys are doing simply just doing it on your own and getting it done and, and putting content out there? So, <laughs> It's funny that you, you mentioned that because our group has been 100% organic word of mouth so far. We haven't launched any ads yet, but what we intend on doing is um, we intend on creating a high value film that explains not, you know, not the business that we're creating, but the movement that we're creating. We really want to emphasize the movement because, you know, video, you're the guy for this. Video is one of the most intimate ways to interact with somebody other than being in person face to face with them in the same room, right? So video allows you to share the emotions, not only that you as a creator feel every time that you share it with the world, but it's it's also something for people to, um, it, the best way for them to understand why they should be a part of it. So absolutely. We are going to use video heavily um, in our marketing, in our campaigning. Outside of that, I do a lot of live videos on my social platforms. I love it. Um, I also, where is it? One sec. Let me grab this. Yeah, back. absolutely. Ugh. Right here. Okay. This thing right here. I just started my vlog yesterday. Look at you. <laughs> yes. Yes. Yeah. Is that what? what is that the? Is that the, the new Canon EOS R? It's the EOS M50. Oh, okay. It's the M50. Okay. All right. Yeah, it's 4K. It has uh, yeah, no, it's a great yeah. camera. Yeah, man. It's so I started. <laughs> I've been trying to do this for so long, but I finally stuck this thing on my desk, talked to it, and now it's B-roll, and I, I'm um, just uh, showing people the the 10 days of content before my birthday. I'm going to launch my first vlog on my birthday. So, video nice. is a huge part of my life, not love only because it. I love marketing, but also it's it's a way for me to share my story because it's fun for me and a lot of people, um, especially my family, really want to see what's going on be behind the scenes of all this cool stuff that you see in the in the frame right, right now. <laughs> oh, I love it. I love it. That that's that and you you hit a point it's like it gives a it gives the ability to people to see um and be very intimate and it's also another <sighs> Do you ever get in a position or do you ever like you're, you're with a with a spouse or with a uh, you're with a couple and and um, and you're always like, I wish someone can just see what I see right now. Like, right. Like yeah. everyone has a different point of view on different things. And and it gets so frustrating uh, when you're trying to d discuss and describe like what you're seeing or what your ideas are. And and um, and, and, you know, a person's just not seeing it. That's where I feel like video comes into play because you create something so that you're actually they're watching. It's almost like they're now get to see your ideas and your message through your own eyes. Right. Mm -hmm. Like, like, I think that's powerful. It's it's it's, amazing. it's it's almost like they're they're taking they're be able to take their eyes out you know, but like they put your <laughs> eyes in and then, then they see what you're actually trying to do. And, um, and it, it's, it's just a, it, like a test way. The last guest that I had on Dustin, he does performance marketing, uh, which is affiliate marketing management. And, uh, he, he said, Thomas, he was like my family after, after them watching our show, my family now finally understands what I do, <laughs> you know? And it was yeah. just a matter of like this conversation, seeing it, you know, and showing it and explaining it. 
but uh, I think creating video is just allows people to get that different perspective and, and, and tell that story and, and see what that movement is all about. I think mean, it's extremely powerful. Totally, man. And, and like, if I were, if we took the transcript from this video right now, you could read it all day and it, it may be, it might resonate. It might not, you might be okay. This is kind of yeah. cool. But what you get to see is, I don't know if you noticed, but I get super excited about live interviews. I am super passionate about what we're creating. You get to feel my excitement, my emotion, my passion, not only, you know, through the audio, but you get to see my gestures, right? You get to see how I'm moving and I'm super jazzed up. You don't get that experience through written word or, or audio and uh, just, just those two things alone. So yeah. that's why I love it. Yeah, I love it. And it's just you talking about your this, the leverage, it, seeing the excitement on that. Like I felt, I was like, oh, geez, this, this guy is, <laughs> this, this is something to it. And, and I buy into it. Um, what was I about to say? Is, is that, so what would you tell people? Because have you always created things? Have you always been, been fearless in creating stuff? I guess it's, it's cause I think a lot of people stop themselves cause of some type of fear it's preventing them in their head. And they have this mindset that people are going to judge them. People are not going to like it. People are not going to want it. So they're not going to do it at all. Even though they have this idea that's they're very passionate about. Has that ever been an issue with you or have you, have you always been someone that's tries stuff and then, and, and then moves for, I mean, moves on from there or, or what's, what's been your style or, I guess what's been your emotion or, or that's a bad, bad term. Sorry about that. That's a bad question. But basically what's been your, your driving factor? Have you always been a creator or is this something kind of new coming on along? So it's, man, this is, this is stuff that I've really dug into in myself uh, over the last couple of years. Um, I was, uh, let me start as a kid. I was very creative that in, in the fact that, you know, as, as most kids do, I would fantasize about, fighting in a, in a battle with swords and dragons and stuff like that <laughs> right so i was i was that kid i love harry potter i love um lord of the rings i love star wars all of the sci-fi i everything to do with that yes that's where i think um that's where my favorite creativity comes from is is those kinds of things but what happens to what happened to me and what i see happen to a lot of people is as soon as you know we hit that that age, you know, the, the teenage years where you're finally, you know, things are changing. You're finally like seeing the world around you. You have so much freedom. Oh my God, I can stay home alone. Right. I, I feel like I lost a lot of creativity throughout that period of my life because my parents were divorced and I was, uh, you know, I was kind of lost in, in that part of my life. But, um, with that, I lost my creativity and it wasn't until I started, um, really being okay with being myself and and surrounding myself with the people who were okay with who I was that my creativity my excitement my passion really my my true personality came out and it's been that way ever since and so to, to answer your question no I have not always been that way I guess it's I I was as a child and then I lost it and then I I, I it became more aware that I, I was creative um but Yes, I, I think I've been the person that's always never been afraid to take chances and take right. the leap and take a risk. I actually, um, I stopped going to college my junior year, heading into my senior year on a full ride wow. scholarship, had a place to live, had free food, all this stuff. Um, I stopped that, gave that up to start my business because, uh, one, because, you know, I, I saw a Ty Lopez ad and I was like, I want to make money. Why I'm in college right now and I'm not doing anything, <laughs> right? Um but two, because I knew that would give me a chance to um, meet the people that I wanted to um, and, and make an impact like I knew I was meant for. And so that's why I stopped going to college. And then ever that was that was two years ago. I'm very young um, wow. from that day to now. Man, it's it's been an amazing journey. And that risk, yes, it's had many, many downsides to it. Um, but really understanding that. Um, I am creative. I, my personality leads me to meeting people like you. It's probably the reason why I'm on this, this show right now. Like it, I'm blessed to understand my strengths and I use them to my best ability to create everything that I want in my life. Yeah, that, that is, that is a great testimony, man. I, that is I'm so happy to hear that. What would you tell people uh, that are sort of ones that they do struggle with, 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 stepping outside of themselves they, they do struggle with 
they have this idea but they never do it you know they never they never inc- are encouraged to create whatever it is that they're because fi- like like I, I always try to explain to people like our meaning of life our meaning of life like people always trying to ask well what's my why what's my meaning well our meaning is literally to create we are created to create you know and and, mm-hmm. and i believe that there is you know uh, that that is what we're called to do i believe that there is I don't want to get too philosophical, right? but I've been reading this book by Jordan Peterson. It's been 12 rules for life and it's about the mm-hmm. antidote of chaos. It's pretty amazing. He was like, we really need to be, there's, there's two forms or two elements of life. There's chaos and there's order. And we really have to be plant firmly in both, right? Where mm-hmm. we, so obviously too much chaos leads to like crazy depression or, you know, but like chaos also comes with creativity is where it comes with life and then order too much order could lead to tyranny and things like that. But like well, order also gives us that safety, the, 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 the desire to where we feel home. And so mm-hmm. being in, and fit plant firmly in those, those two elements uh, is where creativity in life comes. And so I believe that if we're, if we're not doing something, that's why people get depressed. They hate their jobs. They're, they're, they, you know, they, they're just not happy with life because they always are trying to find what their meaning is. Now, what they're calling of the, you know of what they're what they're born to create that's the journey that they have to go on but as long as we encourage that creating element like just go out and be that passionate and and you're passionate about something and you're creative about something go find it and do it and understand that that's what that's why you are here to do that to share it with with the with everyone else and so um I don't know where I was going with that, but that would just found, <laughs> sounded really good. But <laughs> sounded great. Uh, yeah, yeah. But like, it, so what do you? I guess what do you tell people um, that that struggle with that desire, that fear of not creating? You know, and, and they don't think they're creative. What do you tell people that to be able to go do? I mean, like, how? What would your message be to them? Well, I, I think one of the words that you just use is is the main reason why people don't take the chances or, or create what they want to. And that's fear. A lot of people are scared that, um, you know, that they're going to lose their job or they're going to lose the appreciation or acceptance from others, or they're going to lose, um, themselves, right. It's, it's, it's scary to jump into a world where it's unfamiliar, um, where you don't know where to start, but to give you an example, it took me, (laughs) I put out a message probably three, four months ago that I was going to start a vlog because I wanted to document myself every single day because one, it's fun. And two, you know, I had this idea that I was going to become a huge YouTube star and be Instagram famous because who doesn't want to want that, right? That's the Um, dream. That's the dream. (laughs) (laughs) And I didn't start it until yesterday. Now, why is that? One, because one, I, I got too caught up in what was going to happen afterwards, right? The editing and, and the the cool footage. And and then I was comparing myself to the Casey Neistats of the world. My video is not going to be good as his. No one's going to want to watch this, right? So I got caught up in all that stuff. And then what happened was I literally just had this, this thought that, okay, actually, no, what it was, was I was messaged by a woman and she asked me, are you still going to vlog your journey um, to the race across America? So next June, I'm doing a, ra- a bike race from oh, wow. Oceanside, California to Annapolis, Maryland. And she messaged me and said, hey, I would really love to see your training and your journey and your experience throughout that. How can I you know, tune in? And at that point, I was like, wow, people really do want what I have. They want to watch, right? Yep. And so even if it's one person, you have, like you said earlier, you have a passion, you have something you're really good at, you have something that you can and should create in your life. And I think we get so caught up in the numbers, the numerical data. What if I don't have a million followers? What if I don't make a million dollars doing this? What if you are serving one person in your in the world? What if you're creating a difference in one person's life? I, you know, even if that woman who messaged me is the only person that watches my vlog, I know it's worth it because worth it. she wants it, right? And nice. it's it's going to serve some kind of thing in her life. And so, what I always love to say is, don't think so, don't overthink so much of of the the technical or 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 what you're what you're 
truly worried about, but focus more on the uh, the person on the other side of the camera or the other side of what you are going to create. And think about them and keep them in mind whenever you run into those roadblocks uh, of, of struggling to, to create that thing. So I'm really just talking to myself here because I need to <laughs> start this dang vlog and I need to keep filming because sometimes I, I get stuck and I'm like, all right, I, I'm not going to do it. This is too hard. And the truth is I haven't even got to the editing part yet. So I don't even know what that entails. It could be super easy. Uh, so I don't it, know. <laughs> it's, it's awesome, man. That is fantastic. Cause like, and what you'll find is that your style will change throughout your, you'll get better at what you do. I mean, even when I first started this show, I mean, you're probably, I think you're on our 14th episode and um, you know, from my first episode to now, it's a completely, you know, completely different format, completely yeah. different, you know, just, it's just a better, it's just, it's just and gotten better, you know, and it's and going so, to change yeah. and you don't really know what's going to happen until you just start. Until you and do so it. Yeah. You just, like, you just, you just, you just got to do it. Yeah. I always try to tell people, I'm like, they're like, what if I suck? I'm like, yeah, yeah it's probably good. It, you probably will. We probably will. <laughs> like, like that's, that's we, like, yeah. when you first start yeah. walking, it's not like you start running, right? Like it's just, yeah. yeah, you will suck at first, but guess what? People are still going to see that. They're going to love it. They, people love and engage and engage and feel that, um, feel that feel that and see that. And then they, they you know, they're, people are forgiving. They're, just, they're not, they're not going to tune you out because it's your first one. They're going to, you know, they're going to, they're going to love it. They're going to be like, hey, there's something to this and they're going to want to continue to watch. And the better, the more that they watch, the more people watch and the better you get. And the next thing you know, you we, you will be that Casey Neistat. You will be that Gary V. You will be, you know, Peter McKinnon. You will be that. It just all depends on, you know, how much practice you do. I mean, it's, it's, it, you just got to go do it. And I, and I absolutely, man, I am so excited for you, you and your vlog. I encourage you to keep on, keep on doing Thank that. You. Stick to it, man. That's fantastic. If you need any help or any, any questions, you know, I'm here to help out any way I can, man. That is fantastic. Where, where are people, where, where will people be able to find you, watch you and follow you and all that jazz? Absolutely. Real quick before, before I jump into that, I have this cool quote. You yes. just made me think of it. <laughs> One of my buddies posted, he said, when you're 20, you care about what everyone thinks about you. When you're 40, you stop caring what everyone thinks about you. When you're 60, you realize no one was even thinking about you in the first place. <laughs> so it's like that really speaks to me because I think for me especially, I'm like, oh, I, I care so much about people's feedback and I care so much about what they want from me and I care so much about you know what I'm saying and all this stuff, right? But yeah. at the end of the day, man, especially you know we'll just use this interview for an example if i had one message during this entire interview that spoke to one person it was it you know it meant everything to me and especially like just the fact that i'm on here right now that's all that matters if nobody watches i don't care because i got to have this <laughs> cool conversation and experience with you so absolutely man. That. My, um, my pleasure and same here same absolutely here. so where you can find me cameron martinez on facebook at Cam Lamb on Instagram, Cameron Martinez on LinkedIn, soon to be Cameron Martinez on YouTube. Um, and if you are, are wanting to uh, join our community, Entrepreneur Deals and Discounts is our Facebook group. Please go join. It's, a, it's an amazing, amazing community of people. Um, and then if you're looking to join the membership, get those sweet deals on, on some of the software tools and courses that we've um, provided for our community, you can go to leverage.info slash checkout. That's lvrg.info slash checkout. I absolutely love it, brother. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for coming on the show, taking your time, dropping a lot of great knowledge, and uh, we will have to have you back on here. And uh, so thank you again. And guys, I think that's the music that I'm hearing right now. And uh, that concludes our show. So until next time, go out and just create. Later. Working man